Hey, all you sexy hoes out there, this is me, Sex Games, here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. In the previous episode, we plus five divined this spear, and it actually made it do more damage than before. We're usually divining something freaking bubble in the middle of my screen, GTFO, it is gone. It has GT, the FO'd. Um... Usually having something divine makes it do less damage, but in this case, since we were already just using a plus five, having the plus five divine makes it more powerful. So I'm not complaining about this. Uh, so you do 386 compared to like 282 from before. This is, this is an improvement. This is an improvement indeed. Um, but in this episode, we're going to run around with 37,000 souls and probably lose all of them. That's a great plan, right? No. No. That's a bad plan. We're going to level up in Firelink first. But, um... Yeah. So we're going to be, uh... Most likely going to be throwing some fire around in this episode, because I... Greek Chaos Fireball. Yeah. Love that spell. Love that spell a lot. Anyways. So let's continue on. We... Uh... As you may or may not have heard, it changed up my plan just a little bit for what I was going to be doing before. Oh, yeah, this fire's dead. Okay, cool. Um, so that could be interesting. Things may change around here, guys. But, um... When you have a divine weapon, Skeletons permanently die. Uh, I don't know if you didn't know this before, but skeletons do not permanently die if you just smack them once with a divine we uh Smack them until they die with a regular weapon. It doesn't kill them. They need to be divine. But they don't take any divine damage at all, so it just sort of like, as opposed to dealing extra damage, it just sort of kills them. So that's one way you could do that, but that's kind of boring. Um, divine weapons are actually rather potent. If you are a faith character, I'd suggest killing Moonlight Butterfly early with the help of Beatrice and yeah so on and so forth uh, we've already come down here so we have some stuff already opened as you saw but we are going to be tagging this bonfire this time because we can actually kill this dude now come here hope you want it you want it you want it how does actually taking damage feel buddy how does actually taking damage feel probably not very good Anyways, so if I can actually freaking rest of this piece up, darn, you are not friendly at all. Sit down. Thank you. So, now that we're actually able to rest at this, we're going to up our dexterity. No, no. Up our attunement and strength. No, not strength. Vite, okay. So now we have an extra spell slot so we can attune, um, something. And we're going to attune Fireball. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Well, 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 well. You should probably have used those to upgrade our Pyromancy Flame, but I don't care. Anyways. So now that we have a significantly lower risk of wasting all of our souls... We're going to super stab all these guys in the penis. It's amazing. Ow, that's not very nice of you. I'm going to super stab you in the penis. Get out of my way. Need to heal now. Pop a healer, you know. Noink. Life. Anyways, so this guy is dead. Well, no, he's not, actually. That's besides the point. Now he is dead. Um... But the skeletons in this place are pretty unforgiving. They do a lot of damage. Um, it's easier to run through this place, but at the same time... We're only stopping by here to grab one item anyways. So it's not like we're going to be here all too long. This is Lucerine. Yep. May end up using that, but I'm not sure. Probably not. Maybe if I end up doing something with the Leo ring, but who knows? Moving towards Nah. There we go. That's a bunch of stabs of justice. Just as stabs as you may. I'm just gonna circle around you and stab you in the anus. Hey buddy, how's it going? 
Uh, I'm not sure if there's actually any reason to come over here. Leaning towards no, but check anyways. Check engine light, if you would. Um, but the reason why we wanted to come over here will be made known soon enough. Uh, not right now, but soon enough. What are you? Ah, thank you. Thank you for that large soul of a nameless soldier. Uh, I'm not sure what's over here, leaning towards nothing, so... Ow, I did not expect that. If I'm not mistaken, which I am mistaken, so that's good to know. You're gonna wanna roll dodge these, cause they make spikes and there's explody things next to them and stuff, that's not very fun. Violent thrusting motion. It's pretty good. Get out of here. Slurge all over at night. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. We have that. Now we're just going to continue on. This guy wants it. Allow me to show you. Just get your butt off my cliff. Ow. That explosion did a lot. Not sure if I want to be that guy's friend anymore. Leaning towards no, but. So these guys are pretty easy to kill if you just deal with them with thrusting attacks. Although once they poise break you, it's not very fun at all. So. Just remember to heal up. We heal up. And then let's venture forward. We. I don't remember what's in here. Guess nothing. Alrighty then. Uh, shouldn't really be doing a catacombs. This is a pretty bad time to be doing it. Like, I should definitely have upgraded my armor. Ah, ah. But it's whatever. Truly. You, sir, jump down there. Get stabbed. You, sir. I'm not getting stabbed yet soon. You might have actually fallen down the pit, the guy I was talking to. No, he's right here. Never mind. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. There you go. Bad decision. Bad decision. Bad decision. Bad decisions. That guy make them. Okay. So let's give this guy a nice stab in the anus. Mmm. Tasty. And you, sir, need to get out of my butt. Um, but yeah, like, as you may have seen, I took the first hit, like, poised through it, and then parried on the second hit. That's actually a pretty common strategy for tanky people who PvP, just poising the first hit and taking and parrying the second one. Got that lock-on almost quite literally screwed us over. In fact, I think it has, because I don't really want to be down here, but, um... Yeah. Lol. Okay. We're actually gonna heal up with um, a humanity so we can hang on to more of our Estus. Wait. Well then. See what else is there. Talk to this guy. Just produce me some ways. Gonna actually hang on to all of our Titanite chunks right now. But we will uh, repair all of our stuff because it's in need of a repair. Plus, it costs all of nothing to an extra repair equipment, so.
Now that it's off my conscience, and yeah. I would have preferred that we weren't down here, because this is not where I really want to be. These guys do a lot of damage and really do not feel very well either. Um, and they're rather hard to kill, actually. hate these guys a lot. They'll leave us from no health for pinwheel. The thing, I the thing about them that makes them so bad is they attack really fast, deal decent damage for how fast they attack, and poise through like a bunch of attacks before they actually, like, you know, care. Like, you see how that guy didn't even care? I mean, I didn't care because I'm wearing a wolf ring, but it's like... It's not very convenient when they can just roll on you like this. In fact, we're probably going to die here. Yep. Ah, I freaking hate these guys so much. Frack. I swear to freaking God. These guys are not easy to take care of at all. Zero percent easiness. Zero percent. Let's just pop between humanity so we can kindle this piece of crap here. You don't need it. Uh, but since my souls are down there, and there was a bunch along with four humanities, I actually am probably gonna <laughs> freaking jump back down there as much as I don't want to. So you may see us going to fight Pinwheel now. Probably just gonna pick up our souls and sprint, though. We don't need to mess with that crap. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be taking some shortcuts now because... You saw how you're supposed to get down there regularly, kind of. Kind of regularly. That's not really the right way, but that's how I always go, so it's regular to me. Um, you can remember this shortcut from earlier in this playthrough. Kind of. But aim right. There we go. So there's that. And then you can go up around here. Which I believe is actually where we need to go. So if you really want to, you can just grind the skeletons for... Um, what are they called? Oh, you live still. Shouldn't live still, but okay then. I mean, since what you're into, I can just run past you. Oh god. I don't like these guys because they attack very fast and deal a lot of damage from how fast they actually do attack, you know? Um, and the fact that they're really good at breaking my poise. Don't really like the enemies around here, as you may or may not have been able to tell by my near constant complaints about them. I don't like this room either, actually. This room rather pisses me off, but. What are you gonna do? Pretty much nothing. So you gotta fight that giant guy. Well, you don't really have to fight him, but he's in here, so... You can run past all this stuff, but it's not easy. You have to know where the ladder is. Well... Screw my life. Friggin... Uh, okay... We didn't need 10k souls anyways, did we, guys? Nope. <laughs> nope. Souls were overrated. We did get the Dark Moon Seance Ring. So, um... Well, that does. I'll actually show you. It grants additional attunement slots. So that's pretty fun, I suppose. You can use that to do some interesting things. <sighs> so we're not gonna go that way again. <laughs> that was just to grab that ring. I pretty much knew I was dead there. Uh... As soon as I fell down the ladder, I knew I was boned. Although these skeletons are really appearing in rather inconvenient spaces. I'm gonna die again! Swinging... Frack, leave me alone, you... Like, butts. I don't want to love you. Almost killed me anyways. Anyways. <sighs> so, we came down here before. You actually saw that. Like, this was in the LP, man. It already happened. It's like deja vu. We're not going to fight him still, though, because I'm scared and he hurts. Instead, we're going to climb down this ladder and hopefully land on skeleton's heads. Whee! Yoink. Lol. Oh my god, how am I in the corner? Frigging! You're supposed to not have that happen when you jump down a ladder! Frack. 
die. Please just die. Oh my god, can you even believe this? What is happening here? Frack. <laughs> yeah, this is going really well, guys. Uh, Mies is having a lot of fun here. Not at all annoyed. Nope. This this should have been a 20 second run. You get out of the way, you freaking mother skeletons. Almost slid off there. Wow, you came down here. Get away. Oh my god, I got exploded. Are you freaking... Whatever. I don't care. Like, I give a fuck. Hmm. There we go. That should actually be a bit easier now. So now we can back them into this room to fight them in a decent amount of space. They should still have their aggro. Yeah, there's one. I'm sorry, did you get penis stabbed to death? Hey buddy, how's your life going? Nope. Not too good anymore, is it? Nope. So I don't really like this part. Basically, the floors break out from under you. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a black knight down there. He's not very happy to have you fall on his head. As you may or may not have been able to guess. Uh, but uh, we're fighting him, so. You do have to be aware that he's going to... Aggro. This this is the great axe black knight. Basically, if he drops his weapon, you're swapping your build to a strength build. That's how he works. That's just that is how great axe black knights roll. We actually do a pretty decent chunk of his health per backstab, actually. So that's good. Uh, and since it is a great axe, if he misses, he has a stagger animation, which makes him a bit easier. He didn't drop a great axe, so. Um, it's not a big dealio to us. I believe if you're over here, you can summon Paladin Leafrick. Where are we? Anyways, I think this is the way to get to... Bang! I hate these skeletons. These friggin' Happy Wheel Matatruggas. Swear to freaking God. Ah! Ha <laughs> This is gonna be Let's Be Bad at Catacombs for seven hours. The Let's Play. Ugh. <laughs> this place isn't hard. Why am I dying? Yes, jump off the cliff. Don't friggin' get stuck on me, you mother. <laughs> Make that. Thank you, whore. Friggin' swear to God. Oh. <laughs> and I haven't even found the item I wanted to come down here to get yet. Either. Not aggroing you. Don't need to. I'm just gonna kick my butt. Think I care? There we go. That's the way you're supposed to do that. We're gonna... Oh, okay, you know, just hit me for all my HP, why don't you? Thank you. Ah, my god. Yay, my souls are in a decent spot this time. You know, just roll forever, why don't you? 
You guys aren't dumb at all. Nope. Nope. <laughs> and the worst part about these guys is if you stop to heal, you're even more boned than you are, like, taking the hits. Hate those skeletons so much. Just always, always hate. Never stop hate. Ever. If you stop hating, things will go bad for you. Hitting me. Ow. Oh, my God, I freaking missed the staircase. What? Can't miss the freeing staircase. Tough. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that staircase has the only item I want. Stop dying. Ah, this is getting irritating. Okay, calm down. When you're mad and just rushing through, it's the best way to die. You die faster and you die easier because you're playing carelessly. <sighs> and this guy really needs to stop existing. And that guy needs to stop aggroing first! Thank you. Okay. I didn't want to jump down here! Ha! Mmm. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. It's okay. Calm down. We're good. We're good. See? See, guys? We're good. We don't even know how to go in there. That's completely optional. This is white light, so this is trends. Where is this? Oh, look. It's a bridge we can't cross. That's freaking fantastic. Okay. You stop roly pulling around. It's really kind of loud. Thank you for dying, you horse slut. So our next goal here is don't die to the dumb. Okay. Just gonna jump down through here. It's super nice. It's a pleasant experience. Except when you get stuck on a ledge. Now I freaking love how these guys automatically aggro. That's just bloody fantastic. Let's throw some fire. You know, have all that fire miss. Yeah, ho. Oh my god. Fuck! <laughs> you self! God, this place isn't even hard. Friggin' good thing we came down here after leveling up. Used our souls. Ha. <laughs> ah, get out of my face. You aggro second whore. Mm! Stop it. You're gonna aggro my first bull crap. I'm going around the outside here. Outside here, I said. 
100% physical blocking tower frick shield. Don't you shoot that arrow. You guys are the most inconveniently placed skeletons in the world. Oh look, there's about a hundred of you. Who would have guessed? Not measy boy. Nope, certainly not measy boy. You rolled off a cliff. You're a genius. There's another one. Oh my god. And everybody guessed. How did you get back up? I killed you. You don't get back up after I kill you, whore. Fall down. Oh my god! There you go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, my God. I didn't pick up the item before I rolled down here. Fah! Hmm. It's right there. It's right there. Do you see that crap? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This camera is not useful at all. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. You're dead. Now this leads out onto this staircase we were just on. As you see, this cliff's just right here. And right there. And we got the item! Oh my god, guys, we got the item! Praise the sun! Praise the sun! Okay, now. Now we get to run past even more skeletons. Yay. Who would have guessed, right? Not I, says the black man. Oh, good. That's going to kill us. Oh, my God. Wow. That actually did very little. Okay. Oh, hey, the wrong direction. That's good. Oh, my God. So much crap in here, it isn't even funny. Okay. Oh, my God. Hey, he dropped a fog like that. Uh, skull lantern. Yeah, that's cool. I can't wait till you see just how, like, actually easy the boss of this place is, considering how much trouble it's giving me. It's almost gonna be hysterical. If I can actually get to the boss, that is. <sighs> Although it's looking like we actually will this time. Nope. <laughs> Poor slut, you're out of my way now. Don't even have to worry about you. Oh my god, we did it, guys. This episode is going to be 30 minutes of rage and nothing completed. Like, all I wanted was that great scythe. That's the only reason I came down here. So, uh, the idea behind this guy is pretty much to run in there and do as much damage as physically possible, as fast as physically possible, because the slower you are about it, the harder his boss is. So, yeah. That wasn't hard, though. We get the Rite of Kindling and Mask of the Child. No. No. Mask of the Mother. That's okay. Mask of the Mother is still pretty good. We might actually end up using that for now, because... Uh, although I don't like the masks, the family masks, they are good. Like, I, I can't even argue that. They are very good. Um, as overused as they are, and almost overpowered... Less overpowered now. Like, they're pretty balanced now. But before, they were overpowered pieces of crap. Um, 
But as you saw, that <laughs> boss fight was a joke compared to what we've gone through to even get here. <sighs> um, we got our item we wanted. We uh, we killed the boss of this area, and we got the mother's mask. I would have preferred the mask of the child, but at the same time, we're already going to use the grass crest ring primarily, so it's not a big deal that we only got the mask of the mother. Because the mask of the mother is still good, and you're very much in the way. Yeah. And you very much just tanked that. All right. Oh my god, if we die here. Nope, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Mises is out. Bye, suckers. Oh my god. We did it. 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 Hooray. 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 We did it. So that's good. That's one boss done. <sighs> this was an uneventful episode. Oh my god. We can't even rest at this bonfire celebratorily. Mm. Like, legit, all I really wanted from this place was that great scythe. Everything else was completely mad to me. But hey, think about it this way. We're 100% done with the catacombs, and the next time we have to come back here, we're going to be so overpowered that it's going to be hilarious. Yay, I love hilarious. Wait. Did not know you were here, buddy. How are you doing? Oh yeah, we can't use this bonfire. Okay. That's okay, because we have to go back to Andre anyways. So that is not actually all that big of a deal. What what am I wearing? Oh. That full set. Okay. Um Mask of the Mother's so ugly. I hate all the masks. All the family masks are actually not my favorite things in the world. But uh yeah, so we grabbed this great scythe here. <laughs> This is going to be our primary weapon, because my goal was use a weapon that I didn't use very often, and this was the first one that came to mind. So, um, it does a good amount of damage already. It's it's not a one-shot kill yet, but it's not even upgraded, so it's like, meh. That's not, like, unexpected at all. But yeah, this weapon's going to be doing us quite a good job. If you want to take a look at it, it gets 100 base, E scaling with strength, B scaling with dex, and 300 bleed damage. So that's really good. Uh, hey, go back up there. It's a halberd type, and I, I said I was going to be doing a halberd playthrough, maybe. I did say maybe. That wasn't a guaranteed thing. Um, so it does have a nice, long, sweeping move set, but if you miss an attack, it goes like, and you get stuck. So that's pretty gay. Um, but... As long as we don't miss attacks, that's not a big dealio at all. It's actually got a really nice move set for PvP, so if we want to do any of that, we can do that. And, as, you sa as I said in the previous episode, we did some grinding. Hmm. And that was to bring this baby up to plus 10. Yeah. So we're already, like... As you can see, something that's pretty nice about this is it gets an extra 10 base damage every time you level it up. Uh. Well, I guess we're using a plus 9 great sight now, aren't we? <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. Oh my god. Actually, we may still be okay. Yeah, we're still okay. We actually had one extra one. That's good. I didn't know we actually had any extras. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but as you can see, it's got 200 base at plus 10, and gets 69 extra damage scaling. It brings 275 at this. Uh, that's less powerful than the Divine, but you'll see, actually, that this weapon ends up dealing more damage than our Divine weapon did. Um, I'm going to actually bring up Dex ones. With a B scaling, this thing, it gets a lot of extra, it, it gets a big buff. It gets a big buff for every level up, so that's pretty nice. Um, 
How much did a backstab do with our wing spear earlier? It did 383, I think, 382. Well, you'll find that this weapon's gonna do a bit more than that, actually. Let me just make an example of that here. Mmm. Yeah, so. This is gonna do us perfectly fine for quite a while. Alrighty, guys. <sighs> this has been Mesex Games, uh, doing a fail episode of Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. In the next episode, it'll be less fail. We'll be tackling Sen's Fortress, which is actually not as hard as a lot of people give it credit for. So that should be interesting. I will see you guys later. Ciao.